Representative McNamer, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Can you describe your district and tell us in what ways you and your district are similar? My district is rural. I'm in the center of the state on the western side. I have probably the most rural district you can ever imagine. Uh, I was born and raised in western Minnesota in a rural area. Um, my wife's parents farmed and my stepdad farmed. We, um, we're pretty much similar. What is your occupation outside the legislature? I'm retired, but I was a former school teacher. I taught school for 38 years, and I'm proud to say that. What did you teach? I taught life science, earth science, FIAD, health, you name it, I taught it. What grades? And what grade? Um, and that's a good question. I taught all the way from kindergarten kids all the way up to seniors. Uh, and, and, and when you teach for 38 years, you have a varied amount of things that you can do. It. And because of that, because of the variety, it kept it interesting to me all the time. I had a, had a great career. What legislation have you worked on in the past that you are most proud of? Oh, right now, uh, last year for sure, in, in, it was the first bill I had that was turned into a law. It was a eighth uh, bill that was turned into law in the state last year. And it was the legislation dealing with uh, magnetic imaging for critical access hospitals. And it allowed them to not have to go through an expensive uh, licensing process. So, and we went reverted back to the old one we had. So what that did is it helped every critical access hospital in the state. The other things we did, we got raises for um, nursing home employees that hadn't had a raise for four years. And that helped every nursing home employee in the state that I can think of. Uh, I was a former mayor before I came in, and one of the reasons I ran was to get local government aid back to cities. And we got not only for cities, we got $80 million for cities, $40 million for counties, and $10 million for townships. Unbelievable. I also ran to pay back to schools, and they are paid back. What is the most difficult aspect of being a legislator? The most difficult thing is trying to help everybody in your district. And uh, that's a big thing for me. Uh, and, and you just sometimes you can't help everybody. And I wish I could. Uh, just um, this past week, we had a severe problem with propane shortage in our western Minnesota. Now, in a metropolitan area, you guys have mostly natural gas. A lot of our pr people in western Minnesota have propane for heat. And what has happened is that the price of propane went up from $1.55 a gallon from a year ago to six, up to $6.75 a, a gallon. And that puts severe problems on everybody, uh, elderly especially, uh, low-income families, farmers. It just, it, and it's a drain. And I'm so proud of Governor Dayton for declaring a peaceful state of emergency trying to help solve the situation. Um, I am concerned about our elderly. Our elderly, especially in western Minnesota, are extremely proud. And they're the ones who will not seek assistance if they can't possibly help it. And they'll go, they'll short themselves on food, short themselves on medication to make sure their bills are paid. Assistance is there for everybody, especially now when the prices have jumped so high. And we can't allow this to happen again. We've got to do something about it. And I'm concerned about it happening again next year. We need to be prepared and prevent it. What are your hidden talents or hobbies? I like to write and no one knows this. I, I, maybe I told this to you before. I've written a novella. Uh, when I was a teacher we used to have, um, it's called Accelerated Reader. And my home-based students, the students I was um, directly underneath me, didn't like to read. So we would take and read a book in my class every nine weeks. And and what I've done is I wrote a novella, which is a, like a short story, for eighth grade students. And I'm going to have it evaluated someday. I'd like to have it published. Can I tell you something? It's good. <laughs>